I want to break down the process of making money. And I'm going to break it down into bite sized steps. The first thing in the making money chain is to have the desire. That's right. The first thing that you need to have is the desire to make money. That's very, very important because once you have the desire, that creates the urge for you to go looking for something. So there's a few things you need in the money process. You need a product or service, the offering, we'll call that the offering. You need a customer. You need a way to communicate the offering to the customer. And this could be done in a many, many ways. Like when you walk in a convenience store, there it is. This is what we have to sell. It's all put out for display. If you are an online marketer, there is a lot of talk about this, but I think the best way is to create content, to create educational content, to create content that has pitches, to create content. Because I had, let me give you the power of creating content. I had a bunch of people after me because they were jealous of what I was doing and the success that I had. And they were saying bad things and they were creating fake YouTube channels and they were harassing people who left positive comments on my videos. And today, recently, I have a, another jackrabbit trying to do the same thing, but I have put out so much helpful content that most of the people didn't go for. They're like, well, Glendon's right. So content is a powerful, powerful tool in your arsenal. So if no one knows who you are, put out massive content. You're gonna have to keep putting out content, content. I remember when Grant Cardone started. I remember when Ty Lopez started. They put out you know, crazy amount of content. They would stream simultaneously between YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter, and Instagram. They would do all of these things. So part of the money process is if you're doing online sales is putting out content. I don't care who you are. You need to put out content and you need to put out a lot of it so you can break through. So now we have the offering. We have an audience and we need mechanisms. Because mostly, you know, if you're doing offline sales, how you're going to gather customers for an offline business is totally different than how you gather customers for an online business. Online is a little harder because I, I will give you something that I did. I was trying to start a lawn service and I was so green that I, I took sheets of notebook paper wrote my phone number down and what I was doing and I stuffed them in mailboxes. That was illegal. But I did this and believe it or not, I got phone calls. So for a physical based business, you need a way to get your offering into the customer's purview when they need you. Because, you know, after I had abandoned the idea. That's when people start calling. It was kind of funny. Um, old school marketing still works. It just isn't as pinpoint powerful as online marketing. Because with online marketing, there was this guy who made a million dollars teaching people how to do handstands. And one of the reasons that he made so much money he was able to, through targeted Facebook advertising, find people who were interested in doing handstands. So the internet is a game changer. The internet has created a remarkable framework for you to operate in and for you to make money. So I'm gonna to speak to creating content and what you should do if you're serious about making money online, you should have a YouTube channel, a podcast, a Facebook group, 
be on LinkedIn, be on Twitter, or be on Instagram. That's where you got to be. Let's see. YouTube, podcasting, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and maybe a few more places because you can use Medium to do content marketing. You can use LinkedIn to do content marketing. But if you want to make money online, and you know, there's a few people who are saying that this isn't the best way. The best way is to run Facebook ads. But see, one of the things about running Facebook ads, if you're brand new and you don't have an audience, you got to play around with it for a few months to develop a lookalike audience. And that could be expensive and time consuming. Whereas if you start with the content marketing, they will know who you are. It's like, oh, Glendon Cameron does financial. Uh, this person does cookies. This person does cakes. You, you want to begin creating your targeted content marketing campaign today. And for those people, it's like, I don't know where to start. I'm, I'm about to help you. Get a camera. This is a camera. This qualifies as a camera. Put it on a tripod. Start speaking and post it somewhere. Because even if you are one of the most boringest people, if you know your stuff, people will buy from you. And that's how I got started. 2009, I took a camera, put it on a tripod, and I started making videos. The beginning will be nothing like the middle. In the beginning, you're going to suck. You're going to regret those videos. But without those videos, you don't get to the better videos. Uh, start a podcast. Podcasting is going to be huge in the next decade. I'm going to start probably two. One of the things you need to do is know your craft very well and go out and consistently put out information dealing with what you want to do, how you want to put it out there how you want to set it off because this is the truth and this is the reality to sell to people takes more touches it used to be you had to contact the customer seven times to make the sale today it's about 22 to 23 times so it's like grown by three times so one of the things, and I would recommend to you to start a YouTube channel because YouTube warms up traffic like you wouldn't believe. Because typically for my content marketing uh, scheme, by the time someone has watched 30, 40 of my videos, they're ready to buy something. Maybe even not that many. So that's how I know content marketing works. You can put out content marketing that's to educate. You put out content that's a sales pitch. You could put out. If you're funny. So content marketing is a way for you to break out and depend upon, you know, if you have a really good personality, if you're funny. And the most important thing is to get started to get started. I, I cannot tell you how many people that I've talked to when I asked them what their biggest regret was in terms of business. They all said they wish they had started earlier because once you get on that process, once you begin to start to look at what happens, like, you know, getting real estate investing. I had a question the other day, like, should I wait to the downturn? Nope. There are real estate deals right now. It's up to you to find them. There's deals in good times and bad times. There's just more deals than bad times, but there's always deals. And if you're going to become a real estate professional, you need to be sniffing the ground, looking for deals right now and spending money and getting in the game. Because one of the things that happens is 
once you get into the game, you begin to learn the rules. You begin to learn the lay of the, the, lay of the land. You begin to understand that a lot of the information that people are telling you, it's false. Because one of the big issues with the internet is you have a lot of people who are opinionated, but they're uneducated. I'll bring up Bitcoin. I have noticed a big shift in the people who were really making money. They weren't messing with Bitcoin because they had no need. But it was people who were looking to hit a good lick, make some money very quickly, you know, because uh, some jackrabbit did a video talking about that most Bitcoin people were in for a year. That's BS. Most people got into Bitcoin for a quick and fast profit. They were not about buying Bitcoin and holding it seven, eight years. But for the average person, Bitcoin is not a good play. You would be better off starting a small hustle, getting you a consistent four figures per month. That's going to change your life more so than Bitcoin. The boat has sailed for you getting in Bitcoin early. That's over. That, that, that's a wrap. It's done. So if you want to start a business today, Online, you've got to get into massive content marketing. You need to be putting out as much content as you humanly can. And that's what it's going to take because if no one knows who you are, it's going to take a massive amount of content to break through. Because when I started this channel, I wasn't getting a lot of views at first. Nobody was like, who's this Glendon Cameron dude? And then I started putting up more and I started hit upon. And also when you put out content, you will find out there's a certain type of content that does much better than other content. Because when I started telling stories, that's when the channel took off. And I was like, oh, they like stories. Well, I got a bunch of stories. I'm going to share these stories with people. And that's how you win this Internet marketing game. Massive content. Uh, if you got a huge budget to advertise, that could potentially work, but most people don't. Most people are just barely making it. And by putting out a bunch of content, YouTube is free. Facebook is, uh, you know, you can start a Facebook group. You can get people in there. And I would recommend that you have two to four of these things that you're working on. Like, um, I'm doing YouTube and I'm going to start focusing a lot on LinkedIn. One of the things about putting your content out is it creates awareness of who you are. And awareness is very, very valuable because before you can sell something to someone, you must get their attention. And if you can't get their attention, you can't sell to them. So for those of you who are interested in making money, I got an offer for you, a free audio book, links below, go ahead and grab that. And I give you a pathway on how to take my courses. You know, I've gotten a lot of people who've come into the hustlers Kung Fu space and they're like, where do I start with well, course? So I've put the courses down in the order that you should take them. The courses are not super expensive. You could be making minimum wage and you can afford these courses. Buy them one at a time, buy them in groups, whatever you need to do. But this pathway will give you the foundational, the foundation that you need to make money. Because one of the reasons, as I put up in the video today, like how I got started in business, one of the reasons that I had such a hard time making money when I was in the military is I didn't understand the game. I didn't understand. I did not have a good foundation. I had no one to talk to. I didn't have any resources. I didn't have the skill sets. And these courses are designed to give you the skill sets to answer those questions because a lot of you just want to start a business. You don't know what you want to do. That's a problem. These courses will help you figure out what you should do, because I don't think you should build a business just for the money because you can end up building something that you hate. I feel that you should build something that makes you happy and supports the lifestyle that you want. So all of that's below.
Go ahead and get that. Be sure to get your free audio book, and I'll see you guys later.